Austria, and I kind of owe you an explanation. I usually make a lucky bag video every year, but uh, due to various circumstances, I'm only getting one lucky bag this year. See, I don't really have the money to go to Tokyo this year. While I did budget some money for lucky bags, it turns out that I wasn't able to buy a lot of the ones I would have wanted off the internet. Uh, there were really three bags I was interested in, Anko Rock, Sivarize, and Sexpot. None of those stores have a location in Nagoya. Sivarize always has a set, and while I could buy it online, I didn't like a single item in the set this year. So there wasn't any point in buying on online, on buying it online. Anko Rock, they only sell in store, and the only store they have is in Harajuku in Tokyo, and I'm not getting there. Uh, and Tokyo Sex Spot, I do have a bag coming. But I don't want to just open one bag in my video, so this is going to be a combination lucky bag shopping haul video because uh, what I did with the money I had budgeted for lucky bags was I just straight up bought some stuff online uh, instead. So the stuff I bought online has already shown up and I don't want to have to wait until New Year's Day to be able to open these and look in them and wear them. So I'm going to record the haul part of the video now and I will record the lucky bag part January 1st or 2nd or whatever when I get my lucky bag. So as for the haul, uh, since I couldn't get a lucky bag from Ankle Rock, I bought some stuff from Ankle Rock instead. Both of them are this mummy print. This is a, a zip up shirt and these are leggings. I actually, I actually signed up on their mailing list. I wanted these leggings so bad and they were out of stock. And it was like, if they come back in stock, we'll email you. And they did and I bought them basically instantly. I love it. And then the shirt is pretty much the same pattern. So this is the shirt. Uh, if you recall, Ankle Rock's kind of vibe is very big and baggy. So like, even though I wouldn't usually have any hope for Japanese leggings to fit me, I feel like maybe these will. And I'm sure this will fit me because it's big and baggy. And then what I really like is uh, most of the shirts and hoodies that I have from Anko Rock have a hood. And normally that'd be cool, but the material they use is very heavy. So when I'm wearing the hood, I can feel the hood pulling back on me. And if the shirt has like a v-neck, the v-neck ends up here as the hood is pulling back on me. So I'm really excited that this one just has this giant turtleneck instead. All right, now let's check out the Dolls Kill stuff. I've never bought anything from Dolls Kill before. I just found out about the website and on the day I was looking at it for the first time, it was like, today's the last day of our free worldwide shipping. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna buy something, I should probably do it today. It actually arrived really fast. It was like two business days from when I ordered it. Well, one of the things I liked about Dolls Kill was they had multiple sizes for items, which is something I'm not used to living in Japan anymore. And some of their items came in both regular and plus sizes. I'm, I'm in that position where I'm kind of somewhere between the largest size on the regular scale and the smallest size on plus scale. Like sometimes I need plus size clothes, especially if it's like bottoms. Uh, and sometimes I don't need plus size clothes. So it was cool to have a few more options, especially in goth clothes, which historically goth clothes tend to be very small. Uh, so this is the first item. It's probably the least goth thing I've bought. It's a leopard dress. The name of this item is Current Mood Hot-Blooded Leopard Dress. This next one is kind of a cross between, well, I guess it's a tunic dress, right? It's like a super, super large uh, tank top. This I got in a 1X size, so it was a plus size. I actually couldn't find this in a regular size. I'm pretty sure the normal, like, extra large would have been enough, but I really liked it. I can see myself, like, working out in this in the summer, and it's got this really cool, like, Eve being tempted by the serpent thing. I don't know why that's so appealing to me, because I'm, like, an atheist, but, uh, it's really cool. I'm not worried about this fitting me, because it's a tunic and it's extra large. It might just be overwhelming on me. That we'll have to see. I love leggings. I wear them with dresses. I wear them with long shirts. 
Um, especially, like, not that I'm gonna wear these leggings to school, but especially being a preschool teacher, I pretty much always want leggings. And what I like about these leggings is they're giving you that ripped look. It gon... It gon' be tight. Oh yeah, totally casual. So these are the mummy leggings. They look super awesome. Uh, they are too short. <laughs> to get them actually pulled up to my waistline, they are like inches away from my ankle. Uh, but if I'm wearing high boots, that won't matter. And, oh man, I'm a mummy. So where are the complaints at though? So here's the doll's kill tunic. It's definitely full on dress on me. Uh, maybe a bit short. But it's not like, it's a little big for me, but not as big as I was worried. I wanted to buy this in the regular size extra large instead of the plus size 1X, but that wasn't available and I'm still pretty happy with it. And yes, I'm still wearing the mummy leggings. Oh, she's short. She tight and she short. All right, so here's the leopard dress. It is very tight <laughs> and very short. <laughs> Uh, these are also the leggings. Oh, I hope that wasn't too loud. The microphone's right there. Um, I really like how they look. Uh, they are a little loose at the top. I probably could have gone 1x instead of 2x. But I also think it's something I can uh, sew my problems away with. So that's not too bad. So basically I'm more happy with these leggings than with the dress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's my ankle rock top, <laughs> which I'm never going to wear like that. Not because it wasn't cute, but because it was already starting to steam up my glasses. I like it. It's so nice not to have the hood pulling feeling. Uh, again, my plan is never to actually wear it with the matching leggings. But yeah, I really like this. Uh, the zipper goes all the way down the front so I could put something underneath it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so there weren't really any surprises with the Anko Rock stuff. It was kind of what I expected, but I have experience with that brand before. With Doll's Kill, I think I've determined that if it's a loose fit item, I should probably go with regular extra large. And if it's a tighter fitting item, I should probably go with 1X. Which is an important thing to learn. I think I can do something to that dress. I know I can do something to these leggings and I'm really happy with the tunic. So overall, pretty good. Now let's wait and see what's in my lucky bag this year. So. All right, it is now New Year's Day. Happy New Year's. And in the mail today, I got my Sex Pot Revenge lucky bag. Let's dig in. Oh yes, of course. Uh, because it gets sent to you in like a mail bag, they also send you a bag bag. So this is the bag that my stuff would be in if it came in bags. For it is luster, even for a moment. Go stepping, believe in fate. Sex pot revenge. That's some lovely nonsense. We have a large can badge. Oh, another bag! Rolling in bags. Has a big purple cross on it. Not half as fun as the poison bag I got last year. I carry my groceries in that. A large dark purple t-shirt says Charm Anthem, except Charm is spelt wrong or like Frenchly. Uh, I've started going to the Japanese gym and a lot of my tops are not appropriate and I think this will be very appropriate, so that's good. Oh, 
a long sleeve black t-shirt with a blue design. It's got a skull, almost in some kind of like shrine-like thing. And some more English, of course. The world exists in consciousness. It seems that they share the same world. It is not shared. This world exists as many as humanity from each subjectivity. I almost think I know what they were trying to say. This shirt is like a really light material. Like I can actually see the computer through the shirt. So that'll be great for summer actually. I like long sleeves in summer, but it's hard to get that and not, you know, cook to death. <laughs> I thought it was a skirt, but it's not, it's pants. See, it's pants, it's really big flowy pants. Uh, one leg is black, one leg is red, the black leg has a pocket, the red leg does not. Uh, these don't seem like my kind of thing, but I'll try them on, whatever. Oh, got big hoodie. Is this? I'm not sure if it's is long enough to use as a pretend dress like I do with my other favorite big black hoodie. Uh, this one has some red crosses and stars and crowns. Uh, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and do not be serious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious. Let the days some slow trouble be sufficient for the day. Sure. Sure, whatever you say. Oh, there's There's also a Sex Pot Revenge logo with a rose and skull on the sleeve. A little weird that that's white and everything else is red, but okay, sure. I mean, it's weird because like yeah, the patterns on the pants and the hoodie match, but these pants are so light, and this hoodie is so big and, you know, not light, that like, why would you wear these things together? But I'm about to! So here we have my outfit from the Lucky Bag this year. So these are the pants. Um. Yeah, the pants and the t-shirt definitely feel like very, like, the material is super nice and feels super light. The pants, it's like, I could maybe see wearing these to the beach or something, but, like, over your swimsuit and take it off, but the problem is that, um, I'm already a large in sex pot and this waistband is pretty small. Like to be comfortable I have to wear it here, but then they're like mega floods. But if it's not comfortable, then is it really like beach garb? I like the shirt a lot. I could really see myself wearing it in the summertime because it's really loose and airy, like it's super lightweight. Um, and I do like having my arms co covered in the summer so I don't get sunburned to a crisp. The hoodie, there's nothing wrong with the hoodie. I just have a lot of hoodies, as one might expect. I'm really excited for the shirts. I'll keep the hoodie for now and see if I wear it at all. So, that's it for this year. I know it was only one lucky bag, so it's a little different than the other videos. Alright, see you next time. Bye bye I feel like Lydia from the Beetlejuice cartoon.